All right, we're going to take a look at this. Divide. It doesn't specify which way to do it. Uh, so that means I could do it either way. I'm actually going to do it both ways. And you'll see that synthetic division is going to be a lot faster. Uh, remember, synthetic division is best when you have just a single, like a, a binomial there, a, a, a linear term. Uh, if it's anything else, if it has like a 2 in front of it, it's not the easiest to use uh, synthetic division. If it has an x squared, eh, you can't really do synthetic division with that. You have to, it has to be a little bit more simple than that. But uh, this is a case where we can use synthetic division. I'll do that first. Step one, write down the coefficients of your dividend. Uh, well, the coefficient there is one. And then four, I have four, three, well, I need an x squared term, so I need a placeholder for that. And then four, three, two, I'll put in one, and then nothing. Okay, so the coefficient is one, four, zero, that's the placeholder. That's what people miss the most often. And then six, and then negative 35. And then we'll have this little line there. You take, you take the opposite of that. Well, the opposite of that is going to be negative five. Bring these down. All right. So that's 1 times the negative 5, that's this negative 5, negative 1, and then that's positive 5, and then that's a positive 5, because you add them together, right? Look, it's just so quick and simple, you make so many less mistakes, negative 25, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 9, yes, negative 9, actually, and then that times that, oh, okay, that's positive 45, and then that's just a uh, 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 positive 10. Remember, this is the remainder. This is my, whoops, my x term. I keep saying that. I don't mean the x term. I mean my constant term. I put the dot there for a reason. x, x squared, x cubed. Oh, so my answer is 1x cubed or just x cubed minus 1x squared or just x squared plus 5x minus 9 plus 10 divided by the divisor x plus 5. Super quick. Did that in a minute, 2 minutes and 20 seconds, and I'm explaining it. All right. Now let's take a look with synthetic division. I should get the same thing. Wait a minute. I just said synthetic. Polynomial long division. That's what I meant. All right. So let's, let's see the polynomial long division version of this. I'm going to try and do it quickly, uh, but who knows? I might mess up. So hopefully I don't. Okay, uh, well, first I write my dividend inside my uh, 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 little box, my little box over here. I'll do it in a whole different color. And I have to put in my x squared placeholder because I don't have an x squared there. So it's x to the fourth plus 4x four cubed plus 0x squared and then plus 16x. Uh, minus 35. So now I'm going to check. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Cool. And that extends all the way over. Okay, I don't need that part. Oh, that's ugly. Whatever, we're going to leave it. And then the divisor, x plus 5. Okay, what times x gives me x to the fourth? Okay, sweet. Just 1x to the third, or just x to the third. And then I get x to the fourth down there. x to the third times 5. That's plus 5x to the third. Change the sign to subtract. That goes away. And then what do I have? I have just negative x cubed or negative 1x cubed. Either way you want to write it. Plus 0x squared. I guess I could bring down the rest, but I don't want to. Uh, okay, so how do I get what? times x gives me negative x cubed. Well, that's just a negative 1, baby. Negative 1 times x. Oh, I need an x squared, don't I? Negative 1 x squared. There we go. Negative x cubed. Negative 1 x squared times 5. That's just negative 5 x squared. Jeez, this is taking forever. Change the sign to subtract. That goes away. And we just have 5x squared, I will bring down, yeah, I brought it down, plus 16x, and then uh, what times x gives me 5x squared? Well, that's just going to be 5x, right? 5, yep, 5x squared, and then I distribute this to the other piece. That is 25 
Oh, 25 skidoo. 25x. That's very nice. Change the sign to subtract. <whistles> Sounds like I'm bouncing a ball. No, it doesn't. Uh, that's a minus. Okay, that cancels out. And then I get uh, negative 9. Negative 9x. Quite a bit of a process. Oh, look. x cubed. Minus x squared. x cubed minus x squared. <gasps> Plus 5x, I bet it's going to be a 9 next. Minus 9, negative 9. Right? Yeah. What times x gives me negative 9x? Well, that's just a negative 9. And then I distribute that. That's, uh, oh, i got to bring this one down, huh? Down under. Uh, minus 35. Okay. Negative 9x, and then negative 9 times 5. That's negative 45. Change the sign to subtract. That goes away. And then I have a uh, positive 10. Look at that. Look, look. Oh, that's interesting. That's super. Okay, let's write this down one last time. x cubed minus 1x squared. That took me like almost double the time. It's like four minutes about. The other one was two minutes and 20 seconds. So almost double the time. I'm not going to write the one there. I'm going to have just x squared plus 5x. It wouldn't be wrong with the one, but I'm going to write it like this. And then 10 over the divisor. You can't forget the divisor, x plus 5. Okay, and that is indeed the same. So this is just so much faster and easy. Look at all this work, and then look at all that work. It's, it's so much quicker, but check this out. Here I have a 45. <gasps> same there. What? Insane. Here I have a negative 25. Do I have it? <gasps> what? That's insane, man. Here I have a 5. What? <gasps> it's crazy. Crazy. This is what? Negative 5? What is <gasps> Negative 5. Insane. Like, completely ridiculous. Uh, so that's where synthetic division comes from. Somebody noticed this pattern. They're like, wait a minute. I can just do it with the coefficients. I need those x squareds. As long as you put in those placeholders. Look, that even is the same. Nice. So really, it's it's a lot cleaner if you do synthetic division. But remember, it only works out well when uh, you have just an X and a number there. Cool. I'm done with this video, man. Get out of my face.